Just install OBS on your Windows PC but seeing a black screen when you try to add a scene or source involving your display. We're talking about display capture, game capture or video capture device and all you see is a black screen. In today's video, I show you how to fix this problem on your Windows PC. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips that make your life a little easier. I have a similar video on how to fix this black screen in OBS on Mac and I have put the link in the description below so do check it out if you own a Mac instead of a Windows PC. So for me, I don't actually have this problem but I do understand that there are a lot of OBS users who face this problem so let's head down to it. Go to your Windows Start key and the fastest way to do so is search for the setting, display settings. Then scroll down until you see the option under related settings called graphics. Now we need to add OBS Studio into this custom graphics options for apps. So click on the browse button. Search for your OBS folder. So in this case, I've installed it on my C drive. Program files and OBS-Studio. Click on bin 64 bit and you can see OBS 64 here. Select it. Now scroll down a little and you can see OBS Studio has been added to the list. Click on options. Okay, here I'm gonna give a quick explanation why you're seeing the black screen. Because the default option is to let Windows decide. So for your computer, Windows cannot decide to use the power saving mode or the high performance mode. You need to make the computer choose a mode here. So if you are just doing a simple display recording on your OBS, you can select power saving. Or if you are planning to record high intensive gameplay graphics that requires your computer to use your high performance graphics card, choose the high performance option. Once you are done, click save. Now close your OBS studio and restart the program. Under Sources, try to add a display capture and you should be able to see the display screen and not the black screen anymore. I hope today's video was easy to understand and if you like more of such videos, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Until the next video, I'm Steph, take care and bye bye.